Straight up, you have mind control getting farm bottom, and he will get farm bottom. I mean, he's a, a dark seer. He's still, you know, he's against two heroes, but it should be fine for him to get CS. He's currently sitting at eight right now. He's actually getting locked in. He's, DJ is, I think, unintentionally body blocking him, and now he's getting chased down. DJ might actually die to first blood. Good seer chance to stop him going, but he's got the surge ready. DJ, I don't think he has any regen. I don't think he could salve up, or it will be your first blood for mind control. Just running him down, and actually mid one might need to be careful as well. Mid one. I'm taking a lot of hits here. He's got the flame guard. He's going to pop it off. Another surge forward. My control. Searing chains come out. We'll do some damage. Can mid one turn this? No stick charges up. Actually, Dark Seer has five. Mid one doesn't. He has no stick whatsoever, but won't be able to chase him down. This full Medusa. Oh, and the static link comes out. Mushi needs something like phase boots to be able to avoid this. And Fasa is just he's going for it. Oh, he thought about it for a second. He, he linked 84 well, damage, so. And he's got a regen rune, so it's not even like he's necessarily thinking about going for it, but he knows he can tank power shots. 343 comes in with the Infernal Blade. Karuki will take some hits, but he's got the call off and the Rolling Boulder. Actually misses. Jirax wasn't there. He didn't put the Stone Remnant down. He knew it was off the target. Pushes him back. 343 is still pretty tanky as the Scorch Group up, but again, Jirax with the body blocks the plasma field and one more right click with a rotation. Is actually like body blocking heroes go jerk is going to be one of the best in the game yeah i mean this guy uh he's a, he's a pretty good earth spirit player let's just put it that kinetic. way they're looking for an initiation fox is going to come through dj gets the glimpse back off they get the kinetic field infernal blade so fox is locked in do they have enough damage to come through static link only like 35 damage and it's going to be 343 three, getting the kill with the last right click but in the meantime you can see the stacks being taken by karaoke and he is going to work he's going to deny himself he gets his boots oh, he, not he sure if he wanted though. to they're going to go if Fato was ready to 1v3 there, if he had to, if they went on him, he could have actually turned it around with that next pl plasma field coming out. Kuroki is walking the enemy jungle. He's looking for stacks of his own or just to be aggressive with the help of the Darkseer for mind control, but... 343 has been all over the map. He's getting some good vision, so he's kind of been helping them in that regard. Looking at Ohio, he's actually top of net worth after getting a couple of those uh, creeps in the jungle. 343 is going to be called. They're going to drop the wall for this. The calling blade, chop him in the head. Kuroki will get the kill, and that's going to put him up even further. Now Mushi, he's got to use his stone form. He's going to get pushed back by Drax. The static link will lose 38 damage, but he's still low. He's got no mana left in here. DJ is going to see Kuroki. They're coming in. They want the chop. They want the second one. He gets glimpsed back. Kinetic will come through. Kuroki's blocked off, but still Mushi solo. Vacuum back. They have the damage ready to go. He pops up, but here is Ohio. Gets off the Ravage. They kill one. Can they get more? Surge away. Mind Control will get out. Remnant forward. Mid one gets up the steering chance. Can they get two? He sticks up and stays alive. Ohio getting the anchor smash, but not enough damage. Infernal Blade onto Fasa. Mushi back into fight. The gush comes through. The armor reduction. Now the damage coming out. They will static link through for three, but here comes the kinetic field. Look at the damage. The shockwave on top of it all. And they will take a lot from that plasma field, but Fanatic get two there with the beautiful Ravage from Ohio. Nicely done. Using their scans, trying to find some stuff, and oh, Fnatic, they almost walk into that scan, not quite. I think that was their own scan, the Dire scan was oh, up towards okay, top. Yeah, yeah. Glimps back, they're going to find at least one with the bottom and static storm. DJ coming out, Mushi, Ravage, Ohio comes through, Fox head trouble will fall, that was actually his TP, now it's directly rolling boulder. A remnant forward, but it's only maybe a millimeter or a centimeter for mid one, won't find anything there. And the defensive stone gaze of Mushi, so just good defensive play, and we can see really the power of Fnatic's team fight here, come mid game time. Liquids don't have that good way to burst down a hero at the start of a fight. Like, you've got these big kind of... You've got these kinky frontliners and... Oh no, mid one. Yeah, I've seen this before. That Liquids headed towards this mid lane means Fnatic can prep and at least try to position themselves such that they don't get engaged upon. Well, they might. 343 has been battle hungered up. Kuroki's gonna try to chase him down. They have the surge from mind control. The Iron Shell is up and... They don't want to dive. They don't want to go for this kill. Not yet, anyway. They have all of the heroes back there. Still no Ravage for a couple of seconds, a good while. Meanwhile, Kuroki is looking for the call on Mushi. He's going to find it. The Plasma Field, they could use a Static Link. He's got the Mana Shield on, taking a lot of damage. Searing Chains mid once up at the front lines. Kuroki still very tanky. Does take a lot of damage here. No call coming in. Still on cooldown for three seconds. Rolling Boulder in. Jirax looking for a Boulder Smash. Finds out on two, but they get the Static Storm off. Just a zone exotic static from they miss it on everybody. The kinetic still doesn't connect. Mushi disengaging, getting under the tier two tower. Everyone else trying to make it his way as well. Mid one just the searing chains. Now they get off the magnetize. There's the mech, the call. There's gonna be the counter helix. They get off the chop one. They don't get the second, but they get Kuroki with a double kill. They'll bring him down. 343 is gonna be next. The battle hunger is up. They use the stone gaze, but that might not be enough for Fnatic to disengage and get out of this alive. They will get the stone gaze up on him. But tell man, the stone form 343 avoids that boulder smash coming through and gets back to that tier two tower for Fnatic. The Fnatic, they now have Ravage back up. Static storm 30 seconds. The cooldown. So. And we should we should say it's the Blink Ravage too that Ohio yes. has. I've gated the last fight too, I might be wrong about that, but this is huge. And they're gonna just blink right in. 
Gush Doom comes out and Mind Control might actually be in trouble. He has no help. There's a tier 1 tower nearby, but he's very far from it. Might have to try to deny himself or... Well, he's going to get Glimpse back and closer to the Creep Wave Searing Chance. He will not make it to the neutrals in time. And Doom will pick up that much needed kill that he would like as Ohio is going to be taking an ancient attack. Hiroki is going to come through. He has an Invis rune, which is a great rune for this. He's going to wrap all the way around. Oh, We've seen this before. Sentry. They're going to see him, the Courier, he's going to look for a chop, or at least a call, he's going to get a chop on the Courier, see you later, DJ, counter heal truck, going to work, Static Storm is up, Broken going to get caught by the Kinetic Field on the other side, back wall, Shrewd 3 is running into it, taking some damage, going to get chased down by Batuba Man, get slapped up, Bata will whip him down to shape, and that should be the end of the engagement, another 2 for for Liquid as they continue to overrun and take the Tier 1 tower when it's all said and done, gods. As Liquid, their 5-man death ball is good and ready to go. They're so hard to fight into with this frontline of theirs. Kuro is just like running in, not really sneaky. He's just walking into three heroes half the time. And with this Vanguard yeah. plus Raindrop, he is so scary and hard. If you throw all your spells at him, you're going to lose the subsequent fight. And generally, you're not even going to kill him. He's got the mech, the back, the surge to back him up. I don't think they're going to kill him here. Blink Ravage is next onto a couple, Kuroki included. He's going to get caught in the kinetic field, get mech back up, coming through with mind control. And Ohio's too far up. You see mid one is solo. Now three for three caught. The Doom comes down onto Drax. Infernal Blade coming through as well. They get off the steering chase. Drax might fall, but Bata is diving the base. Drax should go down. No, he gets denied. The Remnant should have gotten the kill, but the die came through from Liquid. They will lose two in the process, one of those being denied, the other being caught to going down. So not that terrible for a fight for Fnatic so far. And if they can get my control, all the better. The Gush comes through the Kinetic Field. He will not be able to switch away. He's got a TP, but it'll fall. They get the kill coming out with that Mystic Snake from Mushi. Yeah, TP out. The Ember Spirit Searing Change just slightly on cooldown. So could have been one more kill for them, but... At least even things up a little bit. Oh, the call just connects to Namushi. He's got no mana left in the tank. The chop should come through, and it does. Kuroki, Kuroki gets a dominating spree, and Mushi's just caught out of position there. Very close to the Tier 1 tower with absolutely no help. And even if he had the Stone Gaze, which he did, with just the Necrobook 2, they're going to force out a Glyph and possibly take a Tier 3 tower off of this. There's no Mushi, even no Split Shot, no Mystic Snake to keep this Creep Wave pushed back. They would have to use Slight of Fist. The Ember's going to come through and try to bring the Creep Wave down. I don't know if they continue to push after the tier 3, they're going to even use the shapeshift from the Tumba Man really wants it, so they're going for it, jump in, Anchor Smash, Force back, they're not trying to commit just yet, there's still no Ravage, call on to 3, Kuroki, still bring DJ down, Ohio might be next, Plasma Field going to work, Kuroki's actually really low, Infernal Blade coming through the steering cage, back wall, they have to run now, 3-4-3, three, three, silence up the Eye of the Storm for Fata, will do the, de do the damage from Heaven, and Mushi now has to go to work, Stunned up still, using his Mystic Snake, doing whatever damage he can. The Rack's in trouble. You can see it's below half health. The Illusion's doing some damage here and actually almost bringing it down. Fox getting caught with the Searing Chains. Great stun into silence onto three. Three, four, three wants to chase him down. He's got the Infernal Blade. He's going to use it finally. He has the off cooldown. They're ready to go. Fata and my control. Not in the best spot, but Ohio's lacking behind. He needs a four step. And here comes Batuma Man. Can Ohio find the initiation? Back him in, but no wall. Doom comes out. Ravage is going to connect onto all four. Batuma Man in trouble. He's going to go down to the Remnant. Still, they will lose three, four, three. They're gonna get one kill, two onto mid one. My control caught. Glimpse back. They will kill mid one, but it's a full wipe. Liquid all dead as Proki was still respawning from that last engagement. Four for two. The end of that engagement for Fnatic coming out on top there. Here that gets a ton of the stats, and at least Manta style is stats for you, Scotty. A bit more expensive. You want to get the Yasha anyway, so the Manta is maybe the more cost-effective item at this stage. I think if, if Fnatic are able to win one or two more fights, though, they are in a very good spot in the trees, ready to strike. They have vision of everyone here. Oh, do they? He, well, three points, he's gonna walk in, he's gonna find Matumba Man. He should see that. Maybe not. That's crazy. Did he walk just past him? Here comes the shapeshift. The Necro units are out. DJ is gonna get caught with the silence. He needs that Static Storm to go down. He might fall before he gets it off. He's got it now. Call is gonna come up, but they have the Static Storm ready. The Ravage on top of it as well. Can they kill him? They bring down the Ancient Kuroki. Will be next. They get the Doom off on Mind Control as well. They're gonna chase him down. They get the Doom, the damage from the right. Puts the split shot for Moshi. Two dead. The Ace is gone. Matumba Man TP's out immediately. Jarax doesn't have one. He's gonna get chased. Searing Chain's not there. They're gonna get the rolling ball right into him, and they bring him down the Infernal Blade. TP was not gonna be there, and it's a double kill for Mushi. They turn it around again, gods. Very odd fight from Liquid. They had all the vision they needed. The Lycan will scout at the lane there. Big strength, and normally Matumba Man goes into the AC after the Necrobook. I wonder if there's consideration towards the BKB over this. The problem with the BKB Necrobook is your Lycan does very little physical damage, so that's where you normally see the AC first. Oh, Bata is going to get caught from behind. They're going to dive the tier 2. We've seen this before. He won't use it, not yet anyways. The right click should be there, and it's going to be Mushi. They even glimpse back another hero. Now Mind Control doomed up. Serious chance it's going to be 2 again for Fnatic, and a huge pickup on both Mind Control and Bata. And they're going to turn this into a tier 2 tower, plus Ravage is still available, gods.
They smoke into the deep on the liquid side of the map, but they I'll have Ravage. Kuro, who they'll find. Searing Chains is gonna come out. Oh, it's too late. The Doom comes through, the Gush is out though, and Kuro, he needs help from the rest of his team. They're gonna TP in, Mind Control looking for a back wall, doesn't find it. They get the Guardian Greaves to Doom, they will have to deny him. The Glimpse back, they won't be able to. Ohio gets the Gush off, that snipes him and brings him down. Dead for 50 seconds, and this might be another opening for Fnatic to find more structural damage. They're gonna find the Tier 2 bottom. And they would have... Oh yeah, they don't have vision of it right now, so they need to actually... There we go, they get some flying vision up there and we'll immediately do ward. Kuroki has been spotted, things coming out, Gush comes through, he avoids it with a blank dagger. He does take it at the last second, but he's already inside the base, but they're gonna go for him. They're gonna look for it, jump in, they get off the searing chains as well, and the Scotty's there on top of this static storm, but they miss. No so glimpse there as well, and that's... Time to back, I think, for Fnatic. No more statics from you don't want to go for this. Kuroki jumping in, gets Searing Chains. Bushi's trying to right click him down. The Gush means Blink. Ravage onto three. Ohio initiates, but Tough Man will try to take him. He's got a good back wall coming up from Mind Control. Is it enough, though? They pop up the illusions. Bushi's going to work with the Stone Gaze, or at least trying to. But Tough Man is barely alive somehow. Somebody hit him, and finally, 3 4 3 will do the job. Dooms up Bots. That's each trouble. Anchor Smash comes out from Ohio. They will clean up three. Jarax is trying to do the best that he can with the Magnetize. Might actually bring DJ down. He goes for 3 4 3 instead, but that's too late. It is GG and Fnatic will take game number two and bring it to game number three here, gods. Yeah. I mean, Liquid often talks about how they're a team who, when they get up 1-0, they'll try something different. They try something different, but they don't lose this game on the draft. Their yeah. different approach with the jungle axe, it worked. They were doing incredibly well in the early game. They hit their timing with the like, and they were the ones breaking the Fnatic high ground, but Fnatic just messed.